Speech Surgery Buckle Flap The soft palate, also known as the velum, separates the cavity of the nose from the cavity of the mouth. During normal speech and swallowing, the soft palate forms a tight seal with the pharyngeal walls, which are the muscles at the side and back of the throat. Air from the lungs passes out of the mouth, and air is prevented from passing through the nose. For some children, a tight seal does not form between the soft palate and the pharyngeal walls. The soft palate and the pharyngeal walls may not function properly, or the soft palate may be too short in length. This leaves an open space between the cavity of the nose and the cavity of the mouth. This is called velopharyngeal insufficiency, or VPI. This open space means that air can pass out through the nose. This can lead to abnormal speech. Food and or fluid can also rise up and pass through the nose after swallowing. There are various treatments for children with velopharyngeal insufficiency. One surgical procedure that may be performed is called the buckle flap procedure. The aim of the buckle flap procedure is to lengthen the soft palate so that a tight seal can form between the soft palate and the pharyngeal walls. First, an incision is made to separate the soft palate from the hard palate. Then, the soft palate is pushed backwards towards the pharyngeal wall at the back of the throat. This leaves an open space between the hard palate and the soft palate. Then, one or two flaps are created from each side of the inner cheek. These flaps are called buckle flaps. The buckle flaps, which are marked here in yellow and green, are placed into the open space between the hard and soft palate and are secured with surgical threads called sutures. The base or pedicle of each buckle flap remains attached to the inner cheek in order to maintain blood supply to the flap. Sometimes, depending on the position of the buckle flaps, the pedicles can be easily damaged after surgery when chewing or biting. Damage can reduce blood supply to the flaps. To prevent this, bite blocks can be temporarily fixed onto the back teeth before surgery by an orthodontist. This prevents the jaw from completely closing and therefore protects the pedicles from damage. After surgery, fluids and soft foods are recommended for approximately three weeks. The child should not put hard objects such as straws or their hands into their mouth. After three weeks, the buckle flaps will no longer rely on their pedicles for blood supply. The bite blocks can be safely removed. Some patients will have a second operation to detach the buckle flaps from their pedicles. After buckle flap surgery, the soft palate will be lengthened. Speech therapy is always needed after surgery to help the child learn how to use their lengthened soft palate for speech and swallowing.